Hi guys. Uh, while I was on vacation, all the parts came in for the uh, air liquefier. Uh, I've got a 500 psi rated coalescing air filter or oil filter to remove oil. Uh, pressure gauge. This is a, a dryer and filter for the incoming air from the shop air compressor. That's a uh, 350 psi relief valve that I was going to use for the uh, expansion valve, but another user has advised me that it's probably not a good idea to use this because the spring may uh, crack when it's very cold, so I'm probably going to have to switch to um, a uh, just a needle valve operated by either manually or by stepper motor externally. Um, also got some safety relief valves in case you shut the system down and the uh, air starts boiling off, and a one-way valve so if you pull off the shop air connection the air inside the system doesn't escape. And for the compressor, I think I'm just going to use this uh, condensing unit. This is pretty much everything needed uh, already built. This is from the uh, that thermal test chamber I took apart in a previous video. And if this compressor isn't powerful enough, I'll just replace it uh, with this big one from the old uh, central air conditioner. I was just setting up to give this thing a go, and the, uh, I took the cover off, and the uh, one of the connections is burnt up in here, so I'll have to replace that. Um, I think I'm just going to get rid of this board and do all the connections with uh, wire nuts. All these crimp connections are, seem to be unreliable. And the, uh, the guy who drained the chamber of refrigerator also must have disconnected the uh, compressor because this was taped up sitting like this. All that wiring is fixed. Uh, let's see if this compressor, 240 volt compressor, will run on 120 volts. Yep, it seems to. Air coming out of it though. The fan's not running very fast either. Let's see if we can get 240 volts and see what this thing will do. And here it is on 240 volts. It accelerates much faster. Pulled this uh, front piece off of it. Looks like someone has uh, melted this when doing some brazing or some other operation on it. Uh, quite a bit of dust behind uh, uh, this uh, radiator as well. This will be the heat exchanger for the dehumidification chiller. Let's wind this uh, tubing around a uh, propane tank. Let's see if this will work without kinking. Best way to grab this. That's decent. This will probably sit uh, in the bath of ice water initially until I can come up with something better. If I can use that uh, condensing unit from the uh, DIY refrigeration system video to uh, cool this, have a separate uh, coil. I'll have to find some way to stop it from freezing it from uh, getting below zero, otherwise frost will build up. Oh, this is hard work.
Oops, kink the hose there. I have to uh, see if I can bend that back out or just uh, put a coupler in there. I was able to get the kink mostly out. I think uh, that'll be good enough for now. Maybe I'll try to fix it better if I put a uh, another layer of uh, tubing around as an evaporator for a uh, uh, refrigeration system. Hmm. I'm just going to take apart this old um, this front panel they mounted on this compressor. Now that we've got some tubing, we can uh, make a little piece to attach this uh, pressure relief valve. This is a uh, this part is actually a pressure relief valve from an old uh, refrigeration compressor. I think this goes off at about 450 psi, so that'll be uh, appropriate for this. And this is a simple adapter I uh, machined up on the drill press. So let's uh, braze this onto the uh, tubing we just took off. Since this is brass, I'm using a uh, 35% silver abrasing material in flux. It's a little bit too difficult to do without melting, so wish me luck. Actually, that went quite easily. I guess the small part is easier than the big parts I'd been soldering or freezing before. Okay, this is set up for a quick and dirty test now. I've got the uh, coalescing filter on the output along with the 350 psi uh, uh, pressure relief valve. Uh, let's give this a run at 120 volts and see if it'll uh, get the uh, relief valve to, go to let off. Thank you. 
guys are slowing down quite a bit. Probably get a uh, pressure gauge on this first. Okay, let's try that again, this time on 240 volts. Air coming out of there at all. Definitely needs some booster or high pressure on the inlet of the compressor. But it's going right at 350 psi, just like it said, so that's good. And that uh, relief valve is also leaking a little bit. Anyway, let's let that air out. Which way? See if this regulator works. Let's so get to the lowest pressure right now. Okay. Seems good. Yep, that's working. And now we can pressurize the compressor. Here we go for about 50 psi. Let's try this again now.
seem to work pretty well. Uh, the next thing I have to do is find a proper vessel for the uh, cold end. I have to take a trip out to the scrapyard and try to find something. Anyway, thanks for watching.